Please join me as we read from Isaiah chapter 38, verse 5. We're reading two verses in Isaiah 38, verse 5 and verse 21. Isaiah chapter 38, verse 5, and also verse 21. If we can have it on the screen. Isaiah chapter 38, verse 5 and 21. Go and tell Ezekiah, thus saith the Lord, the God of David, your father, I have heard your prayer. I have seen your tears. Surely I will hurt to your days 15 years. Praise the Lord. God sent the prophet to tell Ezekiah he was going to die. Then God sent the prophet back to tell Ezekiah he was adding 15 years to his life. Let's go to verse 21. Now Isaiah had said, let them take a lump of figs and apply it as a, poly, as a poultice on the boil and he shall recover. Let's read that again. One, two, go. 21 together. Now Isaiah had said, let them take a lump of figs and apply it as a poultice on the boil and he shall recover. Did you see that? Many, many years, I thought that God only sent the prophet to tell Ezekiah he's adding 15 years to his life. I didn't know that there was a prescription until I carefully read the whole of chapter 38. And I saw in verse 21 that the recovery of Ezekiah was supernatural, but it was through the prescription. God said they should take a lump. Can we have that scripture again, verse 21? God said they should take a lump of figs, you know, fig tree. Apply it to as what? A poultice on the boil. Can we have this scripture, this same verse from Amplified? Verse 21 from Amplified, quickly. Now Isaiah had said, let them take a what? A cake of figs and lay it for a plaster upon the boil. Boil. You see, the whole body of Ezekiah was full of boils. He said, let them take a, 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 a cake of fig and apply it as plaster on the boil that he may recover. If you have misused your health, abused your health over the years, there is recovery for you. You see, one thing about God is that God made us and so God can reverse whatever situation we find ourselves. There is spare part in heaven for everything that, every part of our body. I have seen in this ministry for the past 25 years, I've seen supernatural healing. I've seen people with kidney disease. I've seen people with heart disease. I've seen people with blood disease and God cured them. Whatever you have, the enemy has tampered with on your body as a result of probably overworking yourself, abusing your body, I declare supernatural recovery. Amen. I thought you'd say amen. amen. But if you look at the whole thing, it isn't just, the recovery was not just because the, there was a prophecy that they would recover. There was also an instruction. Do you follow this? There was a prophecy that I'm adding 15 more years to your life, but there was also an instruction that will help to fulfill that uh, prophecy. So if in 3 John verse 2, the Bible says, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health, even as your soul prosper. Then what is the instruction? There must be instructions. Many believers abuse their health, misuse their health, and they say that uh, by stripes I'm healed. By stripes I'm healed is the promise, is the prophecy. But there are instructions in scriptures. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Most of our healing evangelists don't preach what I'm preaching to you this morning. Because most of our healing evangelists want you to think that everything is just supernatural. But inside supernatural, there is natural. You can't have supernatural without, you see, supernatural. So, and some healing evangelists, they go for medical checkup. Many healing evangelists, I'm telling you with all humility and with all sense of responsibility. Most healing evangelists that I know in this country, they have their personal medical doctor. They go for medical checkup. They face 
maybe that's the instruction God gave them. I'm not, there's nothing, I'm not against going for medical checkup. I'm just saying that don't sit there in the church and be quoting by stripes I'm healed and be dying. Don't sit there in the church and be quoting by stripes I'm healed. This is Ezekiah. God added 15 more years to his life. But God had a prescription. God gave him an instruction. He said, take a lump from the figs, apply it to the boy, and he will recover. For the stomach problem of Paul, there was a prescription. God is very, very honest with us. It is those who preach his word that are not, this is some of those who preach his word that are not totally honest. But for God, very honest. Apostle Paul, the one that wrote half of the New Testament, there was a prescription, there was an instruction. He said, give so, 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 I mean, a little wine because of his stomach ache to his, that was the prescription. So if Paul recovered, he didn't just recover because he was quoting scriptures. He recovered because he followed instruction. Everybody said, Lord, give me my own instruction and I will recover. It's our month of recovery, you recover. Your, your instruction can be that you should watch what you eat. Your instruction can be what? God can be speaking. Maybe this people are telling you, slow down with this Coca-Cola you are taking and Pepsi. Slow down. Your instruction can be you should slow down with your, the oily things you take. Your instruction could be that you're not sleeping enough. That you should take enough time to rest. God will always give instruction. It is when we disobey, when we break instruction. The scripture cannot be broken. Are you following me? In Philippians chapter 3 verse 19, there was an instruction. Philippians 3 19, quickly. Philippians chapter 3, get all these scriptures down. Make sure you have the address of all these scriptures. Philippians 3 19. Whose end is what? Whose end is destruction? He said, because their belly, whose God is their belly? The moment you make your belly your God, the Bible says the end is what? Destruction. It won't be your portion. Whose end is destruction? Whose God is their belly? Who glory in, who glory, whose glory is in their shame? Who set their mind on earthly things? Now, I like you to let's take it one by one. He said their end is destruction. Number one, their belly is their God. That means their belly is, is what controls them. You get to some age, there are things you are not supposed to eat, or you slow down on eating them. Even if you love them, you take them a little. Are you following me? But because your belly is your God, you cannot control your belly. It is your belly that controls you. The Bible says the end of such person is destruction. That will not be your portion. So every child of God should know that third John verse 2 is not a, it's a promise that is backed up with, 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 with the power of God. I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health. God wants you to make money. God wants you to create wealth. God wants you to also be in health. I would say God wants me to create wealth. He also wants me to be in health as my soul is in health. So God wants you to be in health. God may be speaking to you about your belly that look, reduce processed food. Many of us prefer Five for Life than orange because Five for Life is imported. You know, evil people have deceived us a lot. The content of orange in, in, in a big Five for Life may not be up to one-fourth of one orange. They'll just take one small, then they will now put flavor, put sugar, put coloring, put preservative. It will look sweeter in the tongue than, five, uh, than natural orange. But natural orange will do you better good than what. But you see, an average Nigerian prefer imported processed food. Because when Onyibo people came, they told us that that is the best. Are you following me? You want to live long, stay more with nature, stay more with natural things. Use less of processed things, chemicalized things. 
Are you following what I'm saying? The best beverage in the world is water. The best beverage in the world is that tasteless, colorless liquid that is free of charge. Well, almost, it's not free again. <laughs> almost free of charge. It used to be free. You're almost free of charge. That's the best. Praise God. Praise the name of the Lord. Because it, if, it, about 80% of our body is liquid. It's water. And see, some of these things, Satan say, no, 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 no. You are now, don't you know that you have suffered? Now that you are making money, enjoy yourself. That's the way Satan paints it. So you will think you are enjoying yourself while you are killing yourself. Then all of a sudden it will be discovered that something is wrong. Blah, 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 blah. Oh yeah. It won't be your portion. We're going to be taking communion this morning. And one of the reasons why we're taking communion is so that whatever Satan has planted in your system shall be uprooted. Amen. You didn't say amen. amen. We've taken communion here before. And a, a woman with kidney stone got home. She slept. And by the time she woke up, kidney stone came out of her body. Kidney stone came out of her body. We've had... Look, whatever my father has not planted in your blood, in your body, in your bone, in all the 25 members of your body, this morning shall be uprooted. Yeah. You are leaving this presence of God this morning with a new body, a new lung, yeah. a new kidney. Any part of you that needs to be renewed shall be renewed this morning. So if you go back to Isaiah, sorry, if you go back to Philippians 3.19, he said their end is destruction. Number one quality of these people is that their belly is their God. Hallelujah. Whose glory is in their shame. Who set their mind on earthly things. That is anxiety, karagita, karagita. Look, whatever you don't have now, don't kill yourself over it. Nothing is worth your life for. Whatever you don't have. You see, when you are in your 20s or your mid-30s, you can let anxiety, when you are crossing 40, 50, if you let anxiety overtake you, you are already killing yourself. Because there are hormones in our body that are released as chemicals and they are dangerous to the body. Whatever you don't have is not worth your life. You don't have husband, it's not worth your life. You don't have wife, it's not worth your life. You don't have children, it's not worth your life. You don't have a car, it's not worth your life. You don't have a job, it's not worth your life. You, don't have, you are squatting, it's not worth your life. Because to him that is joined with the living, there is hope. For a living dog is better than what? A dead lion. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 4 to 5. Ecclesiastes 9 4 to 5. A living dog. Uh, you see, let me tell you the problem many people have. Why many people are waiting to build their own house? They will now start thinking, hey, my mates have built their own house. Look, me and my mates were not in competition. Are you following what I'm saying? I'm in the race of my own. I'm running against myself. I'm not running against anybody. I know young people who have caught high blood pressure, all kinds of emotionally induced illness, and it is as a result of too much of anxiety, fear, 